Welcome to another edition of JavaScript Review. This morning I wanted to take another look at overlays. In this case, something called a heat map. And you can see this looks like a generation of heat over some map on, the, on some street scale. What we've got here is just the standard Google way of showing heat maps. You see that heat map layer. And what we're doing is we've just got a bunch of random data points. And we're putting that in and making it look like taxi routes. But in any case, it could be any set of data that makes sense to you to generate a look this way. So it's a layer on top of that. And of course, you can do things with these buttons like toggle it on and off. You can change the gradient. You can change the radius to make it bigger. And you can change the opacity so you can make it look a little fainter. And all of that's controllable in here. So you see here we're setting up our map with the center and the satellite. And then we're putting the map options up and then we're getting the point array which is all of this randomized data and there's a whole lot of it up here I'm not going to scroll up there's a ton of it that looks like that and then here we're using that to generate a heat map layer and that's just visualization heat map layer on top of the regular map so you set it up there and then you have a button here to toggle it on and off and then you have the changing gradients and then you have setting the gradient you have changing the radius down here and of course you can set the opacity and those are all buttons that you're just layering on with those functions. But in any case, the basic thing here of putting the heat map on is very simple. You just put a visualization of the heat map layer with the data that you've got, and you get something that looks like that. And that's really all there is to it. So if you have data that you want to generate to look this way on a map, that's all you have to do. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with JavaScript.